Man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lasso Craig coming at you with another video. You feel me? And today video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I save, like, bro, instances where I save people's lives. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally a superhero. I literally save people's lives. You feel me? I saved my mom's life. I saved uh, two girls I was hanging out with lives. And, um, I feel like it was more. And I saved my own life, you feel me? But, um, anyway, I'm gonna be telling y'all how. Alright, anyway, so, this first one, right? Um, so I was talking to, uh, Moesha. Y'all know Moesha, the, uh, the Jamaican chick with the fat ass, right? So we went to the Bahamas. We went on a, like a little getaway to the Bahamas, a little vacation, right? And um, me personally, I know how to swim enough to survive. Like I'm not no perfect swimmer at all. Don't get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But like, I have a like I know how to like I know how to swim underwater. I know how to like swim above water. Like going like this, move my head side to side like this. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do that. Like, I know just enough to survive type shit, but I feel like I, I, I can't float above water too long. I feel like eventually I'll just drown, you feel me? Because I be doing too much of this and trying to stay up above the water and shit, but <coughs> I know just enough, right? Her, on the other hand, she didn't know how to swim at all. Like, she don't know how to swim. So anyway, we in the Bahama Beach, right? One thing about me, I don't even like going in the water on beaches, but she wanted to get in the water. I was like, you know what, fuck it, let me get in the water too. I'm on vacation right now. Let me try a new thing. Let me get my ass in the water. Let me stop being a little bitch. I was really scared to get in the Bahama water because they said there's sharks in that shit. For real. But the water's so blue and clear. I was like, if a shark is there, I can see it. What's the number? Two or three ten. No man, no, no, no. Nah. But I was like, um, I was like, um, man, it should be annoying, bro. But I was like, um, the water's so clear, if there's a shark, I'll be able to see it, right? So boom, so I ain't worried about it. Anyway, we get in the water. I'm still not getting too deep in there, mind you. I'm like by the shore, so because sharks ain't gonna come by the shore. So I'm in the shore, and they do come by the shore, I can see them and then run out. So I'm about to show we chilling. There's like a whole bunch of other people. We like throwing a ball at each other. We playing catch and shit, right? So anyway, we just chilling in the water. One second, she's right here near me. Everything cool. And next second, I hear Elijah. I'm like, huh? I turn. She all the way like deep in the abyss. About to goddamn drown. She's still like, help. The fucking lifeguard right there. He should be the one helping her. You know what I'm saying? He was white. Maybe that's why he didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, what am I supposed to do? I could barely swim. Like, I definitely can't. I could barely carry myself above water. I could, how am I supposed to goddamn carry young behind? You know what I'm saying? And she thick too. She a little heavy. She probably 180 or some shit. One set, something like that, man. You feel me? So I'm like, bro. But anyway, you know me. At, my, at the time she was my girlfriend, she, of course I got to save her. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You know what I'm saying? So I'll go. I'm sitting there jogging like this, using my big ass legs, hopping in the water like this, walking to her like this. You feel me? And I grab her on one hand. And, I'm put, and as I'm walking to her, I feel my foot slipping down too. I'm like, oh shit, she's literally at the edge, bro. She was at the edge, edge. Like one more step, I promise y'all, she would have like drowned. She would have like drowned in the ocean, bro. She was one more step from before falling offshore. So I literally just took her by her hand and I just leaned back. I just used my strength. I just yanked her, just, uh, just yanked her back into the shore and pushed her. And then she was able to get back in shore, walk back, and then I got back too. You feel me? That was crazy. That was hella scary. But I knew if I was to slip, I would have survived because I could have got myself back up with my paddling and all that, my muscle. You feel me? But her, she would have just went down there and died. And if she would have went down that motherfucker, That lifeguard would have to save her. Because there's no way I could have dived down in that motherfucker. Grabbed her. Came back up. 
Hell no. Like, why I look like Little Mermaid? Like, in Aquaman? Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? She would have hoped Aquaman was down there to save her. But, yeah, now nah, that was crazy, though. You feel me? So, I call her just in time. The lifeguard would have to save her. That would have happened. But, yeah, that's that. So, I saved her life. You know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> and if you watch my video, I forgot which video it was, but <clears throat> it's one of the Bahama vacation ones. So just check out all the Bahama vacation ones you gonna see. I even mentioned it in the video, like, yeah, I saved her life. Like she I saved her life, bro. She don't wanna admit it because her pride, but bro, I saved your life. You literally straight by day and you lied to And I came and saved your ass. You feel me? So that was that. Uh, another time I saved somebody's life, uh my mom life, bro. This was crazy. My mom, bro, she put a metal knife inside of a socket. She was, like, trying to, like, peel some of the paint off the socket because it was dripping, like, through the socket hole. So she took a knife, metal knife, and she stuck it in the socket. And I literally saved her before it went in too deep, bro. As soon as she put it out, like, Mom, what you doing? Like, and I pull her hand. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, I know I started to feel something, like, funny, like, like a little tingly sensation starting to come. I was like, yeah, she's about to get electrocuted. You know what I'm saying? So I literally saved my mom because that would have been dead. That would have been so fucking bad. Like, I remember I got electrocuted before. You know what I'm saying? That shit do not feel good. Like, so imagine putting something inside of a sock. Oh, that would have been awful. And my mom, she's not old, but she's you know older, so you know she it, it would have been way more severe. And then another time, um, I was walking with the other girl and from our recent vlogs, the Pakistani girl. We was walking down some stairs in the subway, and she was a little like tipsy. She was a little tipsy, and we was like probably midway of the steps. Yeah, midway of the steps, and. She tripped, but a good thing I told her to hold on to my arm, because she was a little tipsy, a little drunk, so I, was, I, was, I told her, to like, yo, hold on to my arm, like, tight, you feel me? Because I like to have a grip on, on them, you know what I'm saying, to make sure, like, they about to stumble so I can catch them, like, same thing I do with my son and shit, you know, so. Anyway, walking out of the stage, she go, boom, big stumble. Well, I told you she leaned like this, like, <coughs> <coughs> she was about to face plant, straight face first, like, and I just yanked her back, like, ah. She went like this. I yanked her. She went like, came right back. You feel me? She would have bust her face wide open. And she would have did some front wheels, some front rolls down the stairs. Who probably broke some bones. You feel me? So, saved her life. And then I saved my own life. I almost got hit by a car not too long ago. Like a month and a half ago, I almost got hit by a goddamn Uber, bro. It was nighttime. I'm sitting there crossing the street. Then this dude, uh, he turned, and he looked like he was going to let me go. So then I start going, then he goes again, and mad fast. He almost hit me. I literally, he like, almost cracked my shit. I just jumped back, weaved it. As soon as I jumped back, he just said, whoom, weaved it. He stopped. I go to his window, like, yo, what the fuck? He go, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Saved my own life, you know what I'm saying? So, crazy. Oh, that was, hold on. That was one time I almost got hit by a train. I was literally sitting in the train, right? I was all the way at the edge, like all the way at the end of the train, all the way at the end, and I was sitting on the little barricade with my AirPods on, jamming the music, right? I'm jamming the music, boom, so I can't hear nothing. You know, the noise cancellation be real. I'm chilling, right? All of a sudden, I feel like some wind. So I turn around, bro. I promise you, I kid you not, on everything that I love. I turn around, bro. All I see is room right past my head. Literally, like, like, bro, like, this much away from my head, bro. Probably like six inches away from my head. Like, this is my head, right? Probably like this much from my head, bro. The train was right there. If I would just lean back a little bit more, I would have been dead. My head would have literally came off of my neck. You feel me? So, it's crazy, man. But, yeah, those times I save people lives and save my own. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I've seen Final Destination. When you save people lives, then... I don't death come for you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But listen, man, I save people's lives and I save my own life. You feel me? So, yeah. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the story time. You feel me? Uh, if you did, smash like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. See y'all next one. Peace.